Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Today, in a statistical mechanics, we are going to discuss about Gibbs paradox. We have already discussed about ensemble, microcanonical ensemble, and also about classical ideal gas. Now, Gibbs paradox. So, what is Gibbs paradox? We discuss in our current lecture. So, let's start Gibbs paradox. So here we will discuss about Gibbs paradox. The entropy of an ideal gas is given by S equal to NK log of V 4 M pi upon 3 H square into E by N whole power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 NK. This formula we have derived in our last lecture and the link of that lecture is given in description box. So, entropy of an ideal gas is given by this formula. Now, E or internal energy U equal to 3 by 2 NKT. So, S equal to NK log of V 4 M pi upon 3 H square into 1 by N and this E is replaced with 3 by 2 NKT. So, 3 by 2 NKT whole power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 nk or s equal to nk log of v 2 m pi upon h square into kt whole power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 nk because this n and this n will be cancelled out 3 and 3 will be cancelled out and also this 2 is cancelled with this 4 so this will be 2 so s is given by this formula now we apply log m into n equal to log m plus log n here. So, s equal to n k. This will be log v plus log of 2 pi m upon h square into kt whole power 3 by 2. Now, what will be this? This will be 3 by 2 log of 2m pi upon h square into kt and this will be 3 by 2 log t so 3 by 2 log t plus 3 by 2 log of 2m pi upon h square into k so 3 by 2 log of 2 pi m k upon h square and from here this is 3 by 2 nk and nk is common here so this will be only 3 by 2 so, S is this one. Now, S is this one. Let 3 by 2 log of 2 pi mk upon h square plus 3 by 2 is C. Because m is mass, which is constant. Pi is constant, k is Boltzmann's constant. And h is Planck's constant. So, this whole thing is constant. And it is replaced with C. So, this is our C. So, S equal to nk log v plus 3 by 2 log t plus c. Now, we consider two ideal gases with n1 and n2 particles respectively. So, we consider two ideal gases having particles n1 and n2 respectively. These two gases are in two separate containers of volumes v1 and v2 at the same temperatures that is T1 and T2 equal to T and having same density. So we consider two ideal gases having particles M1 and M2, volume V1 and V2 and the temperature of both gases are same and also their density are same. Now the gases are allowed to mix in a volume V equal to V1 plus V2 because here we have two ideal gases and these gases are in two separate containers. Now the gases are allowed to mix in a volume uh, V equal to V1 plus V2 because one container is of volume V1 and another container is of volume V2. So if we remove the partition between two container then the total volume is V. So the gases are allowed to mix in a volume 
v and v is v1 plus v2 then the entropy of the composite system s equal to s1 plus s2 here the temperature remains constant now this is our s so s1 will be n1 log v1 and this is our c and for s2 this is n2 this is v2 so s equal to n1k log v1 plus 3 by 2 log t plus c and for s2 n2k log v2 plus 3 by 2 log t plus c if the particles in the two systems are the same and for convenience we take v1 equal to v2 equal to v and n1 equal to n2 equal to n then the total entropy of the system so for convenience we take volume of both container are same that is v1 equal to v2 equal to v and also number of particles of the two gases are also same that is n1 equal to n2 equal to n then the total entropy of the system since the entropy is this one so the entropy of the system s equal to twice nk log twice v plus 3 by 2 log t plus c if we apply log m into n equal to log m plus log n here so this will be log 2 plus log v and this term as it is or this will be equal to twice nk log v plus 3 by 2 log t plus c and also from here twice nk log 2 so this will be the total entropy of the system since the total entropy of the composite system is this one and here we have total entropy this one so this is s1 plus s2 plus twice nk log 2 because if we put n here also n here v here and also v here so this will be twice nk log v plus 3 by 2 log t plus c it means this is replaced with s1 plus s2 so the total entropy of the system is s1 plus s2 plus twice nk log 2 whereas here we get entropy this one now this factor comes from where since s equal to s1 plus s2 plus twice nk log 2 here and this equation shows that by joining two moles of two different gases by removing a partition between them the entropy of the system increases by an additional factor twice nk log 2 now from where this twice nk log 2 factor comes here this is our Gibbs paradox so this is called Gibbs paradox now explanation it is clear from here by joining two moles of two different gases by removing a partition between them the entropy of the system increases by an additional factor twice nk log 2 and this is our Gibbs paradox because actual entropy was s equal to s1 plus s2 and here s equal to s1 plus s2 plus twice nk log 2 now we are giving explanation of this factor now this is our container 1 and this is our container 2 both gases having the same number of particles that is 1 mole the volume of both gases are same after the removal of partition now we remove this partition a molecule of each system being indistinguishable and they can be found anywhere so if we remove this partition then a molecule of each system being indistinguishable and they can be found anywhere in this range so mixing of two gases within the volume twice v instead of v 
this is V and this is V. If we remove this partition, then total volume is twice V. So mixing of two gases within the volume twice V instead of V and hence external parameter becomes twice V and therefore the possible states of energy are to be calculated with the total volume twice V instead of volume V. This explains the occurrence of the additional factor twice NK log 2. But if we take two systems as the same, means two molecules of the same gas, then the molecules will be indistinguishable, same as in quantum mechanics. In this case, we have to correct the formula of entropy by using the idea of indistinguishability to classical approximation. If there are n indistinguishable molecules in a system, then the correct formula of entropy is S dash equal to K log sigma dash E, not S equal to K log sigma E. And here, sigma dash E is not equal to sigma E. Sigma dash E is actually sigma E upon factorial n. So, we replace this sigma dash E by sigma E upon factorial n. So, S dash equal to K log sigma E upon factorial n. So, this formula we have to use in place of S equal to K log sigma E. Now, Entropy S is equal to NK log V 4 M pi upon 3 H square into E by N whole power 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 NK. And this entropy we have determined by using the formula S equal to K log sigma E. Now, if we use this formula, then entropy will be NK log V 4 M pi upon 3 H square into E by N whole power 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2 nk, not 3 by 2 nk. So, as this is our this one, therefore, entropy of the system is as this equal to twice nk log twice v minus log 2 plus 3 by 2 log t plus c. So, if we use this formula, then the entropy of the system will be this one. So S is equal to twice NK and this is log V plus log 2 and this factor as it is. Now log 2 and log 2 will be cancelled out. So S is equal to twice NK log V plus 3 by 2 log T plus C. So the entropy of the system will be this one. If we use this formula and if we use this formula of entropy then the entropy of the system is given by S equal to twice nk log v plus 3 by 2 log t plus c plus twice nk log 2 and since S1 plus S2 equal to twice nk log v plus 3 by 2 log t plus c so this is our S1 plus S2. So in this way, entropy of the system is exactly same as S1 plus S2. Gibbs paradox is just resolved by the concept of quantum mechanics. It means if we use classical concept, then the Gibbs paradox arises in the entropy of the system. And if we use the concept of quantum mechanics, then Gibbs paradox is resolved. Here we end our session. In today's session of statistical mechanics, we have discussed about Gibbs paradox. Goodbye.